here we are all ready for Bristol. We're going to go get the train in a minute. So we've got our suitcases packed. Yes, we have. We are ready to hit up this film festival. So we have made it to the train station. Interesting stuff. Yeah, we're going to get on the train for some. La 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 Shopping mall where we can have some food, which we've enjoyed very much, haven't we, Kez? Yep. India? Yeah. So, we made it to Bristol. We've made it to the hostel. This is going to be our room for the next couple of days. Sharing a bank with India. Here we all are in the hostel. Everyone say hi. Hi. Oh. This is so exciting. So we're just all taking a trip down to Encounters for the first time to watch Climax. We will see you there. We're arriving to the Encounters Film Festival. We're just uh, going along the busy streets of Bristol to get there. But as you can see behind me, it's just there. So we've made it. Over here, we've got our tickets, so we've got our passes. Is that how it works? Yes, it is. Have you got yours? Have you got your ticket and your passes? Yeah. So are we ready to come down there at 9 o'clock tomorrow to get our tickets? Yes, we are. So here we are going up to our screen to watch our first film. It was painful. It was having to dress. It was. It was a bit. Like I enjoyed it at the beginning, but the end, I feel like there was no real story, and they're just showing us a bad trip. Joe, what was your thoughts? Um, it was interesting. I need a few days to collect my thoughts on it, but it was. It didn't have a big idea like irreversible or in the void, but. Mm -hmm. okay. So what it had was just sort of a load of people on a really bad trip. Well, it did it quite well. I, I really enjoyed it. It's a weird film. It was weird. I agree. I like the lighting though. Yeah, I like, yeah, I like the light. I like the light. I like the way it kept us as the viewers sober. No, well, it, it, it did feel a bit trippy of the bit, bit with it the It felt trippy, but it, it didn't light. go like irreversible. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not irreversible. Into the void where you, you see it. No, you know what I mean? I felt a bit ill. You yeah. didn't go into yeah. active. It makes you feel a bit sick, I feel. Yeah. No, no, not for that. No, no, no. At the end, it was all a bit like, oh, that was awful. Yeah. I got upset. Yeah. Oh, you didn't like it? No, I didn't So that was our thoughts on climax. We're up and we're ready to go. We're walking down. So we'll shed to get today's tickets and then hopefully we'll get the ones we want. Um, we had a very good night. I think everyone got a bit merry. We didn't go to bed till late, so we're all a bit tired. But it's not going to stop our day. So here we are, day two. 
We're just arriving now, getting ready to queue up to get our tickets for the day. I think we're pretty excited. Nice and early to the box office. We are first in line. India, how do we feel about that? India. Kerry, how do we feel about that? About what? Being first in line. Oh, no. I know. We are the keenest of beans, Matty, aren't we? Yeah. So we've come to get our tickets. We managed to get everything we wanted to see, um, despite the staff being very rude for the second time. Not impressed, especially as somebody likes some customer service. Not impressed. So we watched some films about slavery today. Um, well, every single one was really hard hitting. Um, they were quite sad stories, which obviously I think they would be about modern day slavery. Um, but we really enjoyed them. Me and Kerry had a little cry at one point. Um, it was really interesting to see how they how they show you with like such relatable characters how awful things actually really are. With some really interesting facts, knowledgeable like they were knowledgeable films, which made you feel like you'd learned something, which was really fun, really good. They were quite on a down depressing note, but still really enjoyed them. So we have just come out of the screening of Secrets and Lies, um, which I think was possibly my favourite so far cluster of films. Um, my favourite one in particular was a film called Sex Ed. I thought it was funny, it was current, and it just had a really nice approachable feel to it. What do we think, Harry? Of which one? Of the, of the set we've just watched. It was my least favourite set. Oh, I forgot them all just when I walked out. Oh, see, I did like them. What do we think, Kyle? They're my favourite selection. Yeah, I agree, I agree. Patricia? I can't. I really liked it. My favourite one of those was the... Yes. Sacrilege. Yep. I enjoyed Sacrilege as well. I mean, as a fellow dyslexic person, I do struggle to keep up with the um, subtitles. This one I did struggle a bit in the middle, but I got it back, I got it back. Um, so I feel that, yeah, there were some really good little films in there. There was a lot of different um, like ethnicities as well, like we had an Indian film in there. Hi. So we are currently just got into the screening room, ready to watch Cured, um, the film directed by Darren. We are extremely excited to watch it. We're going to give it a vote, so hopefully it wins, um, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So last night we went to the Fright Night, which was extremely good, actually probably my favourite cluster of films so far. We enjoyed a lot of them, there was um, one, my favourite was the first one, which was a zombie film, and then my absolute favourite was the last one, which was an animation, which started off about monsters, and then the monsters turned nice and helped this little boy whose heart was on empty, and I cried a lot. Which I know isn't really horror because it wasn't really, it was scary at first, but because it ended out with a nice ending, I feel like it's not your typical horror, but I did love that one. Yes, definitely one of my favourites. One of my least favourites was um, Cobweb Jar, which was just a video about a lady reading a book with a creepy forest. So there wasn't really much of a plot, there wasn't really much of a story, it wasn't very creepy. Um, so I felt that was my least favourite one. Um, so we're now just walking along, going up for our last day. There's not as many screens we want to see today, so it's going to be a bit more of a chilled one, but we're excited. So we've just had breakfast and we're sat waiting for our first, um, first uh, films we're going to go watch. To be honest, today we're not feeling as excited as yesterday. There's not really much we were interested in seeing, um, not a lot that takes our fancy, personally. I mean, we're hoping that some might surprise us and be very good. Yesterday, the ones I was excited for disappointed me. I do So agree. maybe the ones I'm not in the war with you will actually be good. And that, we'll hope Because we'll I hope wasn't that. looking forward to a horror, then it was my favourite one. Yeah. I mean, I'm hoping for the best, but I do feel that... Today is not going to be my favourite day. I've already got that feeling. Got the vibes. Got the vibes. So we've just come out of our George. We've just come out of our Garnon films, and we've had a little tutorial with Darren and Max, and now we've come out here to street food. So I think I think he's sort of going to be doing for lunch, and I'll come back. I'm going to come back to you in a bit with how I felt with the Garnon films. So we watched the Garnon films this morning, which were really interesting. 
Um, all the animation was very, very different. It was all in a very different style, which was very enjoyable. Um, some of them were very short. Some of them were, I would say, maybe a minute long. And actually, those ones were my favourites out of the, um, the lot. Um, I'd say, yeah, it was very interesting to watch something completely different and something which ta tackles very different subjects in a very um, very inconspicuous way. Like, it's not forefront, it's like in the background. Yeah, it was very, very interesting and very enjoyable. And yeah, that's, that's those ones. So, we have just come out of Heptopia, which I have to say has been my absolute least favourite cluster of films. Um, turns out I am completely not a surrealism cinema fan at all. I couldn't tell you what a single one of those films was about. I didn't enjoy them. I found the animation not my style at all, nothing I would ever usually watch. Um, yeah, my thoughts on that is that I would definitely, definitely not put myself back in that situation to watch any of those again. I actually potentially would have walked out if it was, wouldn't have been awkward. So, um, just want to talk about the last two screenings um, of the day. So we saw Do the Right Thing and Don't Talk to Strangers. These were my favourite two screenings of the day, much better than the um, first two. Um, Do the Right Thing, I really enjoyed the last uh, couple. I thought they were very interesting. It was very interesting to see the way that um, it was like different situations and like kind of showing whether or not it's very moral. Like the first one was uh, to do with a girl that was about to give birth, that was thinking of giving her baby away. I mean, it was a British film, um, or actually might have even been Irish, but um, it was it was very good. Really enjoyed it. Um, it was very relatable, so I felt that was very good. And then I really enjoyed Don't Talk to Strangers. I thought there was a couple of really cute, funny ones in there, like the first one about um, this Spanish lady who a Asian man comes and visits her because she's trying to find her son. It's a uh, very sweet, very sweet film, very funny. Um, it just showed how we shouldn't. I don't know, like there was, it was showing you how the stigma of a stranger, you should never talk to a stranger, like why would you speak to them, why would you even say hello? And actually that, that could be very wrong, there's actually, everyone is a nice person, really. So yeah, really enjoyed those, really brought up, picked up the day, really enjoyed that. Um, so just, yeah, very enjoyable. So that's it, we've finished the film festival and we're going to be heading home. Um, there's been some ups, there's been downs, I've enjoyed it. I've not enjoyed it there's been things i've loved things i've really not loved at all um it's been a very very good experience and um, very different um it's been not all i expected but then i didn't really know what to expect um so it was very interesting to see there was lots of interesting things going on lots of interesting thing people to meet um yeah so i really felt like it was something that was interesting to do and I feel like if you like seeing a different range of foreign animation and British films, it had a bit of everything for everybody. So yeah, that was it. Very enjoyable. Thank you.